Hey everybody, Ann here, and it is just such a rainy, cloudy, yucky day today, but you know what? I still got a ton of stuff I got to do on the van. I'm off this weekend after working pretty hard all week long, so I figured, you know what? I'm just going to get this done despite this terrible weather. So I worked a little bit on the inside, worked a little bit on the outside. People thought I was crazy doing it in the rain, but you know what? We all got a little crazy in us. Also, somebody had sent me a DM on Twitter and they wanted to know why I don't show myself on film. Well, there's I think like three reasons. The first and most important reason is because I am catastrophically unattractive. Seriously, I'm like practically deformed. I don't want to scare people away, really. I, I, I want to I bring people in, not repel them. Number two, I don't want you to look at me. I want you to see what I see. I want you to see you know, van life and my world and whatnot through my camera. You know, I don't want you to be gazing at my image. I want you to see what my eyes see. The third reason is because I have a job where it may be kind of weird, you know, for people if they knew that I lived in my van, it might make them uncomfortable. I'm not uncomfortable, but there may be some people out there who just are not entirely comfortable with that. You know, my employers might not be. Um, luckily, I have a job that's very mobile. So, I mean, it's very well suited for van life. But I just think right now I'm going to keep it under wraps. Um, I don't want people to see what I look like. And then, you know, maybe getting back to my employers or some of my clients and whatnot. So, it just might be kind of weird for them, you know. So yeah, that's that's the reasons, basically. Number one is the most important, though, but you know what? I hope you love me for my personality. <laughs> anyway, here's the video. I hope you enjoy it. Skinny little pantry here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I've got it bungeed up to the very top there, and it's skinny. That's why I like it so much. So let's see what it looks like after I have been driving around for a while. All right, let's see if I can get this open. I've got to turn this little knob down and open it up. And, well, you know what? Not that bad. I mean, I had everything just kind of shoved in there. Everything stayed. It's all kind of mixed up. Um, I can see one thing. These little things right here are just the right size because they fit. You can stack them probably three high on each shelf and they fit perfectly. Oh, there's some dehydrated onions, dehydrated orange peel, lemon peel, more onions. I got a whole bunch of stuff in there. My herbs for my herb garden, some spices, crackers, dehydrated green, dehydrated green beans. Yep, lasagna noodles, dried beans, there's some olive oil, cornstarch, all kinds of cool stuff in there. So I, it stays, it's kind of messy you know because everything gets jostled around but I think I can probably fix that okay water tank is not working um, you know and with the, the little sink thing it's just it's just not working because this little pump here it's really really hard to press actually and um, this it just doesn't fit very well I did go ahead and get a, I think that's an eight gallon water tank right there it does have a little water spout on it um, I think what I'm gonna do is see if I can find a way to deconstruct this thing and get the pump off and submerge it down into the bottom of this maybe I don't know and then see if I can just use it with this and this sink I don't like I think probably a lot of people knew that when they saw it and right now I'm, I'm like in reorganizing mode so everything is all over the place but um, this sink it's just I, I just don't like it I mean it was a cool idea and everything but it's just not working for me so uh, we're going to work on that today, too. Um, these little curtains made out of the, what do you call them, um, pillowcases. I'm going to try and do something else for that because it does not look stealthy at all. It definitely looks like somebody pulled some curtains and they're sleeping. So this right here today, God, it's a mess in here. I'm going to pull this side down. Um, I need to fix the, the wall with the with the window I need to fix the window um, I need to get the felt off of it because I'll show you a picture in a second of what it looks like how the condensation is coming down off of it or into it and um, I mean it dries up but it just takes a long time so I'm gonna pull that down and see if I can do something different for that 
Um, let's see. And, oh, I forgot to bring that other monitor in. I think I'm gonna take this big TV. That's a smart TV. I think I'm gonna take that out and just put in a regular little um, computer monitor in there because I do not need a big thing in there. And then I need to arrange my drawers. And this little thing right here has been a lifesaver. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Now, as you can see, I got rid of the sink. Yeah, I had to, it was just stupid. I need to tighten up this string too. So, really all I've got is the eight gallon tank of water, the blue thing that's down there. My little camp stove is down there too. Uh, that's just a little basin I can use. Um, I can just, this has a spigot on it. Let's see if I can show it to you. See that? Oop. There, all I have to do is just tip that over and um, out comes the water, it's super easy. And then I've got my little power thingy there, kitchen stuff, and the potty. Yeah, so um, I could not separate the pump from it without totally screwing up the pump. So I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'll probably just get rid of it. Put it out, put it out by the garbage and see if anybody wants it. But yeah, I like this better. I'll have to, uh, whoops. There we go. Let's get that all good. I've got, got to get my granny curtains right. I need to tighten them up a little bit. Uh, so I just covered the hole with that for right now. And I'll probably put like a, a wooden drawer of some kind and just, you know, nail it down or bolt it down or screw it down, whatever, that I can put stuff in. And uh, this is still going to be where I cook. Um, I don't know. I can put stuff over there too, but I like it. Oh, yeah. I got some of these push lights. My goodness, they are bright. Oh, look at, look at all my little granny magnets. Aren't they cute? I love them. I love them much. <sighs> you know, it looks pretty much the same, but I'm just kind of trying to get things organized. Alrighty, I'm having fun. Hey guys, I made a beautiful discovery today, um, and that is that the best thing to get rid of these stupid decals is none other than WD-40 and a little yellow grease. I've tried the other stuff, and it's going to be hard to do. I tried Goo Gone, it, it did practically nothing, but this you just spray a little bit of it on and believe it or not, it scrubs off very easy. I mean, I'm going to little to no effort here. And you really don't need to spray that much on it. So, I'm actually standing out in the rain doing this. Um, I figured, you know what, I'm gonna just do this. I've got a poncho on. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna get this stuff off, standing here in the rain doing it. People are looking at me like I'm insane, but you know what? They're not half wrong. So I'm going to go through this and get this done today, and then I'll let you have a look. Right on, guys. As you can see, it is going pretty well. Just spray a little bit on. I kind of like spread it all around, and then you just have to, ugh, that looks terrible, but it's not as bad as it seems. This is all you gotta do. And it comes off. I mean, it comes off pretty easy. I couldn't believe it. Gotta go in different directions, hit it from one angle, and then it comes off. Seriously, don't get goo gone. Just use this. It works great. I know this camera's jiggling around, but oh well. What are you gonna do? and it's coming right off. So, yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Okay, well, it does look a lot better. You really can't see the letters. There's a few remnants here and there, but for the most part, the letters are gone. Whew, that's a lot. Maybe a few remnants, teeny bit here and there. But other than that, it looks pretty good. All right, 
She looks pretty. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you hated it, give me a thumbs down and leave a comment. Yes, definitely leave a comment and tell me what you think. Any advice that you have for me? Oh, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Hit the bell for notifications and all that. You know, I guess it's obligatory that we all say that at the end of our videos. Like, like the watchers don't already know that you know, they can like, like a, or subscribe or whatever. But anyhow, yeah, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And I will see you guys in the next video. Y'all have a good end.